Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Only support movements that reflect your values. All right, and this is Sun for Sovereign Saturday. Um, even though, even though, um, you know, I'm always talking about having control over your life and everything. Let's just be real. We still have to cooperate with people. We still have to cooperate. And also, too, you never know what movements are out there reflect your values that you want to support, even supporting another uh, sovereign man, which let me be clear on. There's nothing wrong with that. If it's your choice, that's the key word here choice if you choose to you're not forced to and you're doing it more from a thing of okay let's collaborate let's cooperate let's team up like you can still say you know what this person is doing some things that reflect my values i can learn from them and i can like support the movement like even now, y'all notice when I talk about uh, the people who sub me and support, I don't like using the word followers. Every now and then it'll pop up, but I'm like, eh, no, more like supporters, uh, more like associates, because every man needs to make that choice. And like, there's nothing wrong, or it could, it, it could be in any situation. Like say, there's, you can be a sovereign man and still um, have a religious path. Now, when you go to the uh, church or mosque or temple, whatever term you want to use, you're still supporting someone else. But you're only doing it because it reflects who you are and you can learn from them. See, it's only a problem if you're just totally following and you're not thinking. You need to think, does this benefit me? Is this an asset to me? And there's nothing wrong with that. But only do that. Don't follow something because it's a fad. That's not sovereign. You allowing the masses to carry you along. Like if you're in a river, you allowing the current to carry you along. You not like swimming and controlling it or paddling and controlling it. That's the thing. See, you have to be, this is very important because like I said, no man is an island. No man is an island. And we have to cooperate no matter what. You still got to do something, but you want to cooperate from a position of power, from a position of choice. Like if you support a move, like say you support some movement with your hard earned money, it's only because you choose to do so and you're getting a benefit back from that uh, choice. That's the important thing. You getting a benefit. This is helping you. It's doing something for you. You're not doing it based on some cult of personality. Because that's not sovereign. Because you get some people, they caught up in the personality of the leader or the movement, or it's the cool thing to do. That's not sovereign at all. You only get involved in something if it's your choice, you explored it, you know the pros and cons, and you made a choice that it benefited you. And then if it gets to a point where you have some problems, you make the sovereign choice not to support that movement. But it has to reflect your values. And, but before you even get to that point, you have to know what your values are. You can't be out here like, well, I don't know what I stand for. You know, like you don't have to share all everything you stand for. Because I'll tell you the truth. I don't share publicly everything I stand for. Because, well, with everything going on, <laughs> it could cause some trouble. But. I still pay attention to, okay, someone got something similar. Okay, I can support them. Um, they are going against my values, you know? Because ultimately, you know, you don't have to do it. And definitely don't do something because everybody say, oh, I'm just following along the crowd. Why? Do you know? Like, if you question a lot of people why they support a particular political candidate, political party, some type of movie, if you seriously ask them why, they can give you a good answer. Oh, it's like the thing. It was like, okay, did you research this? Do you know? What's it going to do for you personally? You know? Like, I don't support any political candidates unless they're putting some money in my pocket, one way or the other. Because I'm looking at the whole picture. You know? I'm looking at the entire picture, which is why I'm independent. You know? And that's just one thing. Any spiritual path, I got to say, 
you know, because I don't really share what I do spiritually because I don't want to unduly influence anybody because part of the sovereign thing is you have to choose your own path. But I ask myself, OK, is this serving who I am? You know that because it's the popular thing it's the big thing to do, you know, everything it, how I dress everything, you know. Now, if other people are doing it, that's cool. Hey, you can create community and stuff, but you still got to be sovereign within that community, you know, because you got so much out here. Because, look, I'm going to tell you what a big issue out here now is you have different groups trying to establish some type of control. And I don't mean just in po politics. That's just one thing. You got corporations going for their market share and they realize they got like a lot of places. They actually represent a lifestyle. So they want people to behave a certain way, buy certain clothes, eat certain foods and everything. You got so many different ideologies. You got spiritual, definitely spiritual groups, religious groups. Um, you got subcultures. You got people trying to convince you, oh, you need to think this way. Shoot, even in these spaces, someone is saying, oh, well, you know, you have to do this or that, you know, even um, even when I talk about body game, even when I talk about body game, that's still that's another ideology. And, you know, I still, I, you know, I'm always going to promote it and everything, but you don't feel like you forced to do it as a man. You make a choice. And I've met some. Hey, I've had some guys comment. They don't want to follow it. I'm like, OK. As long as you leave it alone. That's all I say. And that's any ideology, even if I disagree with it. And this is personal. Even if I disagree with it, it's like, OK, does it affect me now? OK, go for it. That's you. I'm doing something else, you know. But as long as it's your choice, whatever you do, it's a choice. If I'm talking body game, you still got to make the choice yourself. You know, if I got into politics or trying to do, uh, say, well, you need to follow this path, that's still your choice. You know, but it needs to reflect who you are, your values and everything. That's the important thing. Now, you're still sovereign. You're still sovereign. But then you're making a sovereign choice as to who you ally yourself with. Let's use that choice. Let's use that word. Like I said, I still just out of habit might say follow, but who you choose to ally with, who you choose to support. You got to think that's your choice. That's what it means to be sovereign. It's just like nations that might come together on a cooperative project. You know, one nation is not controlling the other. You know, that's called imperialism. That's an empire. No, but if you get uh, several, like seven sovereign nations, they say, okay, we're gonna work on this project. Everyone is still bringing their thing and they making the choice to get involved in something. That's a very important thing. That's a very important thing. So anyway, only support movements that reflect your values okay so and you got to stay sovereign no matter what so anyway that's all i have for today i'll talk to y'all later peace and blessings